Good morning, everyone. Another day. Another load of work to be done on the bus. Uh, I doubt you guys can see that. There's a cool spider web. A uh, spider spun its web right here in the window opening. Pretty cool. It's early. Early for me. Normal time for everybody else. It's about 7, 7 o'clock. Just went and got my coffee. <clears throat> went up to the 7-Eleven. Used their bathroom. Brushed my teeth. Freshen up a little bit. Anyway. Two bananas. One for each ear. Uh, I'm going to build these doors today. And I'm not sure what else. I guess I'll get with Floyd. So uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so yeah, working on these doors. I'll show you what that's all about. So it's a little dirty, obviously. But it'll get cleaned up. So I uh, put this piano hinge on. This is upside down, of course. And um, I'm using the biggest rivets I can get. Three sixteenths. I thought I'd be getting quarter inch, but I don't think they make that. If they do, it's something entirely different. But definitely some meat on these things, so I think they'll hold well. There's enough of them: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of them, just to, on the door part. And then I got these backup plates. Well, anyway, you get the gist. They're basically like just washers, aluminum washers, and I put them on the back before riveting it uh, together, and it just gives it a little extra backing, and because those little nubs were sticking up, I uh, grinded them down, that way, you know, there's not a whole lot of space uh, to kind of butt up against that, uh, that uh, square tubing, so definitely want to have that as flat as possible the washers may have pulled it out a little more so the little nub that was sticking out I basically sanded that down and we'll see how it fits when I get it over there I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one where's the other one hmm, that sheet there got another piano hinge here that I need to cut a little bit off of I basically made sure these holes that attach to the bus don't need to be right at the edge but definitely, you know, where the door is to keep it from warping, bending, twisting, any of that. I made sure to cut, you know, a little little piece off the end and then measure it and split the difference between the two. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. Uh, my tripod is locked in the workshop where I did my painting yesterday, so I don't want to bother Floyd right now. He's a little mad at me anyway because I left that unlocked. Anyway, catch up with you soon. Well, it was no easy task, but I did it. Still need to go back to Ace and get um, another pack of these rivets so I can do every hole and make it nice. It's solid though. It's on there. This door is a little bit coming out, but that's no big deal. Like I said, I'm gonna do these little snap things on the sides here somehow. Or figure out some kind of little latching thing in the corner there. Same thing in the middle. I might just uh, drive a, a bolt through there and, uh, and put a wing nut. Uh, my line isn't perfect. It's a little small there. Uh, it goes a little large over here. But it still butts up with what's behind it. I reinstalled these rub rails to match across a little gap in between all this is going to get painted one color anyway along with the rest of the bus but yeah definitely solid and heavy duty <laughs> same thing here uh my propane tank that was a bit of an issue i was going to put my bracket if you see it back there on the floor you know i was going to put it facing this way you know, two tanks here, and then two more tanks here. It's still going to be four tanks, but I'm going to have to do it like that. One reason is because of the 
um, diesel fill. It comes right down here. I may have to get rid of this rubber protective thing over it. I don't even know what good that's doing. I guess it's for road debris when you're not covered by a box. So now that we have this, I'll probably get rid of those rivets. They might be screws and just remove this and have a, you know, another eighth of an inch, quarter inch clearance on the top there. But I had it facing the other way. I had to cut off the top of the bolt there because um, it was too tall before. And I also cut off the ends of these wings. I still have enough to, you know, work with it and unscrew it and screw it. That's the bracket that holds both tanks in place. So I've got clearance there, no problem. On the bottom, that uh, that goes through. And a big old nut on the bottom of that, and then there was a stud hanging out about that far. So I had to shave that off right at the nut. And then I had to make my marks as soon as I had everything situated. I've got, I only got three tanks in here, but I'm going to put four and get another one of these brackets. I may cut out the front of this to make it a little bit more easy to slide the tank in because it is a tight squeeze. But I've got, you know, a couple inches of room there in between the bus frame and here. So I can reach back here. I can basically get to all these valves and uh, you know regulator and stuff I think this regulator might be shot or maybe this propane tank that is full is shot because I opened up the valve and nothing's happening hopefully this still works but if not I'll just get a couple more regulators so I had to uh, basically drill through it's a good thing I have this plywood here is three-quarter plywood because I had to drill through it you know to be able to seat that bolt that's on the bottom there into that hole that gives a little more stabilization before uh, finishing this off, of course, I'm going to drive a couple lag screws down through this to the plywood to uh, make sure that's solid in there. And then I don't need any straps or anything. Still got a little bit of space on this side. I uh, need to put a partition in here to separate propane and batteries. We don't have batteries yet, but I'll need a partition in there. And then I still have, you know, a little bit of a space here, and I don't think I'll be filling up this battery bank anytime soon. So plenty of space over here, too, for our shore power cord, uh, any hoses, um, extension cords, things like that. We're going to have more, than, more storage than we need in this thing when it's done, but for now, I'm happy to have uh, done this. These piano hinges are nice screwed up over here. I should have measured twice and cut once. So I cut a little too short. I had to cut another piece off. I might put another rivet right here just to, uh, you know, secure that on there. But it's solid. I mean, there's rivets going all the way across that thing. And I'm going to continue to fill those holes in. I don't know. Maybe I'll get Floyd's opinion on that. But definitely want some consistency. These all have it. So I might as well just do it all up here too. Why not? You know, it's only another four or five bucks for a pack of rivets. So uh, aesthetically, I love it. I love the way it looks. I'm glad that I saved the rub rail and continued, you know, from there. Because once this bus is painted, it'll look like these things were pretty much part of the bus. Um, I like the design of the original belly boxes that were part of the bus. But if you look at the bottom there, you know, over there, you see it's just, it's flapping. And that's all, um, bent in and it's got a, a retainer on the inside and and uh, you know I do like the latches but those cam locks were shot out when we got the bus and I had they were painted over and I had to replace them anyway and the doors are a little wobbly and stuff I feel like this coming up flush like that as long as I have you know good stability and uh, good mechanisms to keep it in place that this will never do what that did so, I don't know. It would have been nice to do the same kind of latches, you know, on this thing. Floyd told me you can get them for like eight or nine bucks on Amazon and get them keyed, you know, the same as what you've got already. But this is what we're working with. You know, it's aluminum, no rust. Um, yeah. I put that wood in there. It's already, you know, separating a little bit, but I'll just keep sealing it.
that's no big deal though. It's all sealed up with uh, flex seal. If you look around the edges of all the aluminum, I sprayed a whole can where all those seams are and it's pretty much going to be watertight in there. So yeah, that is uh, what I've done today. Sorry I didn't film, film any time lapses or anything. I left my tripod in this building right here when I was painting yesterday and I made a big boo-boo. I left the door open. Not just unlocked, but open. And Floyd uh, doesn't trust anybody and uh, he, he got bent out of shape and I don't blame him. You know, it's uh, forgetfulness and I hope that he continues to help us because we still need it. We still need that roof deck adhered. Still need a few more things done in, in the bus and uh, I don't want to burn my bridge here just because I forgot to close the door. I mean, I was right next door in his bus, but that goes without saying. You know, I need to be a little bit more cautious. Anyway, that's uh, my update for now. I'm going to head over to Ace, grab some more rivets. I may shoot another end of this uh, video. I'm not getting a whole lot done today. It's kind of a drag day and I'm sweating uh, like crazy, but definitely uh, happy with the way this came out. And uh, once those locks are on there and fasteners, it's going to be solid. So I'll catch you guys in a few. Peace. Yeah, so I came by Habis Habitat Restore over here in Sarasota. And I got stainless steel carriage bolts, three and a half inch. Didn't get a, enough to do the whole uh, roof deck, but, you know, I got like 14 of them. And uh, the awesome, the best thing about it is they charge by the pound. They have huge boxes in there. Not carriage bolts, but just regular hex hex head bolts, a little shorter. Whole entire bins of like the same size. Probably two inch, two and a half inch. But they only charge a dollar a pound. So for the same price that uh, Home Depot, I think it was five come in a box. They're like a dollar a piece at a Home Depot and over here I just got <clears throat> twice that for two dollars anyway it pays to shop around Ugh. it's super hot right now I stopped at Ace got another box of rivets I also got some plastic uh, straps for oh, excuse me some plastic straps for, um, you know, sorry, got some plastic straps for adhering down my, uh, my pecs and possibly even propane lines once we get that installed, but, uh, yeah, it's a hot one, it's 333. I'm going to head back, crank on that AC, get in my bathing suit, get underneath the hose, soap up and rinse off the day. It was a rough day doing those doors, but I'm um, happy with the way they turned out. And yeah, had a little chat with Floyd, apologized to him for leaving his door open like that. And, gave me a piece of his mind, of course, but I was worried that he was going to send me down the road with an unfinished bus, and uh, we really need his help, so I gotta watch my P's and Q's, he's under a lot of pressure, being a landlord of that building, he's already dealing with a ton of stuff, so I don't want to push his buttons anymore and be the reason that he snaps or whatever very awesome, useful, helpful guy, and I'd like to continue uh, with an awesome relationship with him. So, I guess I'm safe for now, I just can't screw up anymore, and um, yeah, I will catch you guys soon, thanks for following along, sorry this update was uh, very eventless, but it is what it is, at least I got those belly box storage doors done. 
can uh, focus on the roof deck and plumbing. So I will talk to you guys on the next one. Create your own utopia. That's what we're trying to do here with our schoolie. See you on the, on the next update.